that's the thing with like, you know, defamation of character, stuff like that. That's even like the narrative on me, which I don't talk about with, you know, I have a lawsuit against this YouTuber who's a small time YouTuber. If you don't know the background, you're like, oh, it's this guy who's big in the space and the smaller guy. No, no, no. I don't give a fuck. If you want to criticize my fight picks or my stand up, my podcast, that's what I'm a public figure. I signed up for that. That stuff does not bother me. But when you start slandering my name, stealing content and creating this false narrative of cheating on my wife and doing all this crazy shit and the defamatory stuff and using content and the clickbait stuff like that for years, well, then you're, we're not playing the same game, man. Mm -hmm. Then I have to do something. If you made an entire career off defamation, I have to do something. Several times I've had my team reach out and go, we don't want to pursue this dude. Just stop. And he wouldn't. So what would you do? So this narrative that, oh, this, this bigger YouTuber is suing this other YouTuber for no reason to silence him. You know, I thought you didn't get down with cancel culture. I don't in any facet. This is different. You got, you got to know your facts. You got to know your details. So this goes, the only reason I bring that up because with Tony Ferguson, when you say this, DC, a guy who's a public figure and is associated with brands like myself. Yeah, yeah. And when you say cocaine use or drug use or this other stuff, it's going to affect his bottom dollar. And that's when this has to be addressed. If you want to say, oh, he has the, the shittiest fight picks or he's bad at English or, you know, the, the, I didn't like his stand up. I think Louis CK is better. No shit. That's fine. Dude. That's all yeah, good. That's fine. But then when, when you start going down that dark road, man. You start going down, you know, the, the, these, these clip baby things that are defamation of character for years, 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 hundreds of videos for years. Well, now you got my attention. That's where this goes. Mm -hmm. I just don't talk about it. And the problem when you don't talk about it is people can jump to assumptions, go, oh, this, this bigger guy's trying to silence the little guy because he's critical. No, are you kidding me? I mean, people are critical. I don't give, that doesn't bother me. Be critical. Mm -hmm. That's what I signed up for. But the defamation, now you got my attention. You start doing this evil stuff, I'm going to come for you, man. That's what's happening. Yeah, when they mess with your livelihood, that's just going to You start messing with my far. business, my family, yeah. trust me, I'm going to come for you. Yeah, well, I'm glad you kind of discussed it a little mm -hmm. bit. And I, to be honest, after going everything I've been through, I'm always a guy, and you guys know it's in I'm always glass half full. You're going to get criticism. You're going to get hate. You just keep on keeping on. I've always said that. I'm, I'm like a fucking racehorse. I'm here. I don't pay attention. The problem with that kind of attitude or that business model is if you don't address some things, people can jump to conclusions and come up with their own narratives that aren't going to, you know, you need to say why you're doing it. Sometimes you have to address that stuff. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a bad look. It can be a bad and I'm life. and I'm and I'm learning. You know, I've, even though I've been doing this for ten thousand hours, I'm you know I'm learning. Oh, when it's something that major, you should probably address it to make it very clear. Yeah. Now I know. 